I'll take you live to the Tachiman Central Market in the Bono East region where fire has this afternoon destroyed goods worth thousands of cities. The cause of fire is not immediately known, but we understand it has affected several shops. Correspondent Anna Sabit is at the market and joins me right now with more. Hello, Anas. Okay, it looks like we've lost Anas there, but those are visuals that you're seeing coming to you this afternoon. It's just happening a while ago at the Tachiman Central Market. So now to our correspondent Anas Sabit, who's joining me with more. Hello, Anas. Anas. Uh, Anas, what is happening right now? Right now, the fire is under control. We have the uh, all the I mean officers involved in the fire service here. Uh, about six fire standards are here from Tanzania, Wenchi, Kintampo, Kichiman. Uh, here trying to help, uh, you know, put out the fire. This fire, we are still started about 12.30 p.m. So it's been on for about three hours now. And uh, as I speak to you, it is almost under control. We have few shops still having uh, flames around. But the major part of the, uh, 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 I mean, market or stores who, which were uh, inside on fire have been dealt with. So I can say that the fire is under control as we speak right now. We know uh, about this source of fire, as you put it. Is that information that um, the fire service is giving you about this source that you mentioned? If you can't come again, you please. mentioned that the source, the, the fire service seems to have located the source of the fire. What, what, what can you tell us about this source? Where is it? Is it a particular shop? What, what, where is it? Yes, yes. The information I've gathered uh, indicates that um, there was this. Uh, well then, um, I mean, something that is going on at uh, a, a portion of the market. So the workers in the process of um, uh, their uh, work, uh, that is where they are told the fire is affected to have uh, started from. Now the fire service from the regional command, uh, we are told, will be doing a thorough investigation about the actual cause of the fire uh, as it stands. But the fire has been on for quite a longer period for... Um, two reasons. One, the municipality is currently having only one fire tender, and two, uh, the, 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 the task within the fire uh, uh, within the community has been out, out for some time now, so there were no water uh, when they came here within the first uh, few moments when their the, the, the water was finished within the tender. They had to go elsewhere or from to a, a, a fire distance to get fire, sorry, to get water uh, so they'll be able to deal with the fire. This is what the fire commander told me moments ago, that uh, that is the major problem they, they encountered. Mm. They call up or a shout out from the uh, surrounding municipalities when King Sanza and um, uh, King Tampo kind of uh, help the situation. And as you see, they are almost wrapping up with the city. They can't tell us the function or the extent of damage caused, but uh, as I speak to you, nearly 20 shots have been uh, burned uh, completely. And the fire command, um, currently with the uh, regional fire commander, um, ACFO, George Anything, I want to have you speak within this week uh, mm. so that we know what we've been able to gather uh, apart from what I have yet uh, said. So this is the regional fire commander. Thank you very much for your time. Hello. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time. We're, we're told by our correspondent that you're looking at about 20 shops that were affected by this fire. What more can you tell us? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, here is noisy, but if I get you, I think you want to know um, the extent of damage or the fire outbreak at Chetima Market. Very well, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Um, at exactly 12.55, um, we had a detail call that... Uh, there was a fire outbreak at the team market involving a uh, letters from a uh, showroom, which is three story building. So we quickly rushed there, and then when we got there, the intensity of the fire was such that we had to call for a uh, second bomb. So we called Wenti uh, to also come, but looking at the distance, um, we had to uh, call another area. So um, we called. Um, in Kuranza Fire Station, and then we call Kintampo Fire Station. And then, uh, Tachima here too, we have a, a, a company called Dananot. They are having two fire tenders. 
So we also relay hands to them, and uh, they all came. So at the end, we were six uh, uh, on the ground, that six fire tenders on the ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were able to bring the fire under control um, within 15 minutes, and then finally extinguished it um, at two uh, uh, 35 hours. So um, the extent of damage now is too uh, severe. And uh, we are yet to come out with a kind of damage because we have to sit down with the uh, managers of the um, letters from company and also other stores which were involved in the uh, fire. So for now, um, the cause of the fire is still under investigation and the cause of damage is also under investigation. So as we speak, um, the problem we are having is that uh, there are so many cracks in the building, so we advise the public not to get closer to the building. The building, the building should be pulled down. Um, they shouldn't uh, try to renovate it at all because it is not safe at the moment. So, um, mm. as I said earlier on, when we got here to, we called the VRA to switch off the, the main uh, line. So there's no light over here at the moment. So everything is now under control. And I get the point which you made, very important point about people having to stay away from this location. Because in the videos I'm seeing right now, we're seeing a very crowded area. How are you dealing with that situation? Uh, yes, uh, we, we, I, I, we have um, informed the police. So now police is going to call down the police so that nobody gets closer to the building. And, and even the workers, they are not supposed to go there until everything is pulled down. So that is what we are doing now. So the police will make sure everything is uh, safe. We understand that when you got to the to the market, you were having issues with some of your uh, your tenders. And as you put it, the timing within which you put out this fire is close to about two hours. Uh, yes. Um, you know, as we speak, there is no water in the pipeline, the main pipeline. There is a fire hydrant close by. But um, there's no water. So when we got here, as I said, um, the intensity of the fire was such that our fire tender alone could not extinguish the fire. That was why we quickly relayed information to uh, five other stations to make up six fire tenders on the ground. So when we get to a place, we first assess the, 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 the situation and then ask other people to come and help. So that was what we did. So as it stands now, you have been able to bring the fire under control, you say? Yes, as, as, as it stands now, uh, it is completely extinguished. It, it okay. is completely extinguished. Sir, thank you very so much. We are, we are now investigating uh, to come out with the cause of the fire. Okay. We'll say a very big thanks to you, sir, for your time there. And us, if I do have you, just to clarify his name and position for us, uh, this fire service personnel that you spoke to, and us. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, right. Anas? Yeah, right. So clarify for us the name and the position of this national uh, Ghana, Ghana National Fire Service personnel that you just spoke to. Anas, we'd like to know who we just spoke to again. I think you mentioned it at the he beginning. He's the regional fire commander, ASPO, George Enim uh, in charge of the police regional fire command. George and from Point and us. Thank you very much. At the moment, though, what are what has been the reaction or or, or business people there? Well, they are in a state of shock uh, from all uh, from what we are seeing. Uh, we are quite fortunate that uh, today isn't the market day. That is the main market. The market starts mainly on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The situation would have been worse. So those who are in the market today are in a state of shock uh, because several shops. I have been affected uh, indirectly. People have to uh, take up all the items to a safer place, and that has caused a lot of uh, 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 shock or worry to the people here. We are also quite certain that this could happen again. So we are calling for the establishment of a fire tender uh, here, or sorry, fire uh, station here in the system and center, because it's a very huge uh, market, and they believe if something of that sort is in place currently, the situation would have been safe. Uh, a, a bit earlier. So that is what they are worried about. Uh, and uh, others are also saying to rely on, uh, you know, neighboring municipalities like when she in Sanza for their fire tenders to get here 
health take a situation, it's a worrying development. So what they are urging the government to do is to have more fire and the station here in Kisima and if possible because of uh, the regional capital status, that such fires will be dealt with on time. Anas, thank you very much. I will leave you to gather more information for the subsequent bulletins. Anas Sabit there, our correspondent for the Bono East region. Well, if you are in that area, in the Techiman Central Market, the fire service is warning you to stay away from the area where the fire uh, occurred because the building looks very uh, fragile and could, be, could come down any time soon.